Hey, it's Moto22 with another epic replay, and this one I was in Des Moines versus Naizumo and then Alabama. So when the game started, everybody started to abandon C, and I just didn't feel like going with them this time. So I took this shot to see if I would get detected by a destroyer, which would be close enough to the cap by now, and I did. So I know that I, at least one destroyer was coming towards sea. On my Des Moines, I run the steering gear modules, the negative 40% and the negative 20%, so that way I can dodge shells really easily. You'll see later on in the video that, uh, I wiggle a bunch when I'm close to battleships to throw off their aim. Thankfully I only took a couple thousand damage to find out that there's a destroyer going towards C. Now right now that destroyer is not detecting me, so he's in the northwestern part of C. And I was waiting for him to, to uh, detect me, but he never did, so that means he went southwest towards B. At this point I, I really see that my team is completely abandoning C. So I think that this Izumo thought that I turned around after I took my shot. So I just kept on going to flank him. But now the Izumo is getting close to my detection range so I have no other option other than to start shooting. Now you can see his barrels facing completely away from me, and if you continue to watch them, they'll swing towards me. I'll slow down and turn in when he's about ready to fire. That fast rotor shift uh, really helps me turn and uh, avoid this damage right here. Only took a little bit of damage, and now he's got 30 seconds for his reload. I turned in again, and those shells uh, hit the water to my left. I was pretty happy about it. So with the Azumu behind the islands, I focus on this Alabama. I keep my bow facing in, so that way uh, when they do shoot me, they hopefully don't sit on me through the bow. So now that I got eyes on the Azumo with my radar, I switch to armor piercing, get my guns facing him. So since the Azumo has bigger guns and he's a lot closer, I want to keep my bow facing him, even though I do show the broadside to uh, the Alabama. I just gotta take the, the less of the two evils. You really see the power of these fast reloading guns with armor piercing on this uh, Izumo. He does uh, hit me pretty hard right here. Now I have to worry about the Alabama. I'm, I'm super low health, so I want to put some distance between me and him and try and heal up as much as I can before he does come around the corner.
he came around this corner a lot faster than what I wanted him to. Didn't get to heal up hardly at all. And um, I'm really happy that he missed right there, otherwise I might have died. I took a gamble and I, I continued my hard left turn to get my bow facing him. Because there's no way I'm going to win in a far duel with this battleship, so I gotta get in close and do as much damage as I can before he kills me. I tried to slow down for this salvo, but he's too close for it to really matter. So, I, again, I got lucky and he didn't sit on me and kill me. I do have Adrenaline Rush, and it's helping out with these uh, fast reloading guns. We destroyed an enemy battleship. That's freaking awesome. Killed those two battleships. Now uh, I get to go cap C. So I noticed the smoke cloud in the middle of B with our Kaparos shooting torpedoes into it, which means there's a destroyer in front of me, so I put a Pydro and I keep an eye out for that destroyer. One last salvo at that battleship and I switched to the Benson. I had to be pretty careful to not shoot my own destroyer, although it was super sad seeing him get killed. And radar for the win. Now I just shoot at the North Carolina over the island as best I can. Uh, I eventually switched to armor piercing and I was pretty certain that he was going to go forward but he just kept backing up and I missed a bunch. Armor piercing works really well on battleships that are completely broadside, even at this like decent range of like 12 or 13 kilometers. So I see his turret swing towards me, and I'm like, oh crap, he's gonna shoot at me. So I get my bow in, and uh, I don't take a whole bunch of damage. In fact, he misses me completely thanks to my fast rudder shift. Alright guys, thanks for watching. It's uh, always a pleasure to have a good game like this.